1,000 years, the length of time before women are paid the same as men in France. This is what a damning new report by one of Europe's largest workers' unions says, as well as the state of gender pay across the continent. The organization's research shows that the EU's gender pay gap won't be eliminated until at least the beginning of next century. In some of the EU's wealthiest countries, the difference in pay between men and women is the highest. In Italy, the gap won't be closed until 2074, and in Germany, it's even further away at 2121. But some are still on track for equal pay this decade, with Romania on course for 2022 and Belgium in 2028. Opinions on how to bridge the gender pay gap are divided, though, with legislation the main course of action for some. There needs to be binding regulation to, um, to make pay transparency an obligation on the employer. It can't be that we all sit around um, and have to wait until by accident we find things out. But importantly, there are lots of other ways in which pay secrecy operates. So, for example, you need to know when you apply for a job what what's the rate of pay for that job, what was the last person paid, what, what are other people paid. Others, however, feel that the issue must be tackled at a grassroots level. The main issue that needs to be addressed is to address the issue of gender stereotypes. And this starts very early in our societies. I mean, it starts with kindergarten, um, when uh, we don't have enough childcare infrastructure in Europe so that the women and the parents can work. Um, we then have problems in education, education systems where there is not enough awareness on trying to progress towards gender equality. So there is a lot that can be done on raising awareness uh, in society on those stereotypes. MEPs will discuss on Monday another gender equality proposal, which has been blocked by member states for nearly eight years now, one that plans to force companies listed on European stock exchanges to make their boards at least 40% women. But some MEPs think that this is less urgent than equal pay for all. The Women on Board Directive is really important to, to change the perception of women in decision-making position and in, in, uh, in how to say, top jobs. But I think that is more for the, the group of, of women who have more privileges compared to, to low-wage women. No matter where people stand on the issue, few will be arguing that Europe is ahead of the gender pay gap. And with the von der Leyen Commission arguably the most pro-woman administration ever, women across Europe will be hoping the gap will close soon. Christopher Pitchers, Euronews, Brussels.